In this video, we're going to show you some nice functionality that is going to allow you to hide and show your slices for your report consumers, giving you more room to provide visuals on the screen and really give them that great user experience that we're all craving for our users. So stay tuned. Hi, this is Hayden from Connect. Welcome back. If you are here for the first time, please hit that like and subscribe button. This, this really helps me out and it will also make sure that you don't miss out on any future content that comes, comes out. So today, we're not gonna go through DAX or M today. I'm gonna to walk you through some of your slice, some functionality that will help you hide and show your slices to the users as and when they need them. And it will help provide more space for your visuals. Some of, you, some of your consumers will, will ask for more and more slices. As you can see, we've, we've got an example here with, with five slices across the top. You know, I don't have a date slicer here, and, and typically you want a date slicer, particularly when you've got date intelligence information. So if I was to add a, a date slicer, I'd just have to remove either some room on this page and, and reduce the size of my visuals. I don't want to do that because the visuals are really the, the sort of most important part of this, and that's really what's telling the story. So there's a really, really cool way in Power BI, and it's actually quite simple to do. And how we can show, how we can hide all the measures, uh, sorry, slices, as, uh, so the user can have access to them when they need them. So the first thing we need to do here, uh, we go to the View menu, and we want to we want to enable bookmarks and selection. Now this will bring up two new panes here. For the sake of this, I'm just going to get rid of filters. I don't need this. Give me a bit more room. So your selection shows you, if I was to click on these, it will. this slicer here will be highlighted. So it shows you all of the information and the hierarchy in terms of visibility that they're on. And what do I mean by that? So if I was to move this supplier over the product one and click in a blank space, product will be shown because product is the one that's on top. It's, it's, it's higher in the hierarchy. If I was to move that down by selecting this here, supplier will be on top. Okay. So this is, um, it's, like I said, it's a little bit like PowerPoint, that sort of center back move to front, but this helps you visualize how that looks. And bookmarks, um, they're exactly what they say on the tin, really. We, we're gonna use bookmarks to create states in our report that we can refer back to either through buttons or actions. We can use images to sort of trigger these, um, trigger these bookmarks. Okay, so first thing we, we want to do now that we've got those, those panels enabled is um, add a rectangle. So hit insert, hit shapes. You can choose any, any, any shape you want, really. But I'm just gonna add a rectangle. And this will be almost the canvas that I'm going to use for my slicers. So first things first, I've got that canvas there. I can't see my visuals. You're probably thinking, Hayden, that's no good, but hey, we'll get to that. So I'm going to drag my visuals, sorry, my slices across onto here. I don't want this slicer. This, this slicer is really important to how the report works. I want this and I want this. Now, if I click on a blank part of the report, you can't see them. That's again, because of this layer order. If I move the shape below the slicers, click away, you can see that they're actually starting to be visible. And it gives me a little bit more room. And what I've now got the ability to do is I can add a new slicer. I can choose date. And here we have the date slicer. You can make these as big or as large as you want, and it gives us more room. That's, there's a lot of products in here, so. There we go. And you've now got more room as well to add more slices, more filters if you want them. You know, your, your report consumers, um, sometimes they just want more and more and more. And really, they are the customer you've got to deliver for them even if you think that it's not the right thing to do, um, their feedback is really important. So now I've got this, this 
pain, if you like, this state. And you can tidy this up, you can format this, you can color this however you want. You've got all of the filters, you can make it look however you want it to look. What I need now is, is a, a way of being able to trigger between the bookmarks that I'm going to create. So I'm just going to add a couple of images. You can use buttons, you can create a blank button, but for me, I'm going to add a couple of images. I've already downloaded them from the internet. So here I have the two images. I've got this menu icon, which I'm going to use to, to provide a way for the user to select the, the measures, almost like the menu option. And I have this return arrow here to go back. Okay. So the next thing we want to do, again, similar to Microsoft PowerPoint, where you can group um, you can group images or group content into a single movable object. So to start, select your first object. So I'm going to hold down the control key and let's do that. You've got to select the visuals first. Sorry, the slices. I keep calling them visuals. Select the button and select the pane. What I need to do now is right click group and group and you'll see it's put all of those images and uh, that image and all those slices into a single group that allows me to interact with that as a whole entity rather than each individual one so now i need to create a bookmark that will always show this this new group of slices that i have so to do that simply in your bookmarks click add I want to rename this so I know what it means. And it's going to be called Slicers Visible. Also very important is I want to remove data. And the reason I want to do that is every time that this bookmark is triggered, it will always filter for Connect Transport. And I don't want that. I want the user's filters to be applied every time they log in and out. Not log in, but open and close this screen. Okay. So now that we've got the slices visible, if you go to the group, I want to hide that here. So now that that's gone, this is the this is the, the sort of base template view that I want. Uh, every time the user logs onto the screen or clicks this report, I'm going to add a new bookmark. Again, I'm going to rename and call it slices hidden. Again, remove that data. Just check I've done it here. Yeah. Right. Now to trigger to trigger that bookmark, it's it's very very easy. Um, you know, I've got action applied here, so it's in the the filter, sorry, the format section of, of a visual. So anything here. When I select this image, I've got the action, the bookmark, and I want to once I tr uh, select select this or click this i want the slices to be visible okay that action is now applied all i have to do is hit control and click there you go that's how easy it is same for this one this image here i need the action enabled i want the bookmark and i want the slices hidden okay control and click and that takes them away so your users can bring them up and play with them as they need them, but it still gives them that whole page that all of those visuals to work on without having everything over condensed. And, and that's that's the video. Um, if you've got any thoughts, please leave them in the comments. If you want to get in touch, you can get in touch with the comments. Um, it's, again, this is all about user um, and report consumers, user experience. It's about it's about giving your users that sort of wow factor. And for something very simple, it also makes it feel like you've done quite a lot of work for them. So, you know, the win-win. Okay. So, again, please hit that like. Please hit that subscribe. It really does help. And uh, I shall see you next time.